But you're checking now the timetables? <laughs> yeah, no timetables. <laughs> Today I am walking at the causeway from England to Holy Island. It's impossible to drive to the island. I'm curious how the people from the island live with this road. I think about 70 years ago it is built, but what, do you know the reason why it is um, yeah, it's, it's always, there's been a passageway across, obviously, forever, because the island, it's, it's always been a semi-island. It's always been accessible at low water by walking across the mud and, and the, the sand flats, and that's gone on for centuries. Um, wasn't very good for cars, so it was a fine when it was horses and traps and people walking, but obviously cars and mixing with the salt water and getting stuck in the mud was a problem. So in the about 1954, 1955, um, they started to build a causeway across, which then made a, a, a tarmac road, a solid road, um, across the easiest part, the shallowest part, between the island and the mainland. Um, and that was done about 1955 with a small bridge over where there's a deeper channel, which is actually a river that's come down from the mainland and makes its way across the sand. And then during the 1960s, that tarmac road was steadily moved along the foreshore of the island um, until it reaches the village, which happened by about the end of the 1960s. How is it working with the tides? Because um, you have a timetable yeah. or...? It obviously depends on the height of the tide and, and the weather, but, but as a general rule, the causeway, the tide comes up and closes the causeway about two hours before high water and up to about three hours after high water. So it's closed for about five hours, then it's open for about seven hours, then closed for five hours. But if it's a reasonable weather, no, the water drains off it. There are problems because there's salt marsh and stuff either side of it which can hold the water up. But by and large, the road drains of most of the water. If you get stormy weather, that's different. Then the road gets covered with sand, covered with mud, and the local authority in the Thumbland County Council then have to send vehicles to come and scrape all that off the road and get back down to the tarmac again. But that doesn't happen a lot? No. Big tides and particularly, obviously, in winter weather. That we don't get a huge build-up of mud. It is more sand that builds up rather than mud. Boats passing. Is it possible when there's high tide that boats are passing this causeway here in England? or? Not really. I mean, yes, if you have a small boat. I've done it myself. I have a small catamaran, so it's very shallow draft, and that can go over the road at high water, but generally speaking, no. So it's only accessible for small dinghy-type boats or canoes or, in, you know, rib inflatable boats. I mean, we get a lot of visitors here, as I gather you, you do there as well, um, because of the nature of the, of the island. Um, but when the tide comes up and all the visitors go, it's great. <laughs> We're then back to a community of 150 people and it's a, it's a you know, so we do like the tide coming up. There's also a box standing on the, on the, on the deepest side. Yes. What is the meaning for the box? It's a refuge. People get stuck, unfortunately. I mean, we get... It does happen. It does. We get tens of thousands of cars coming here every year. Um, unfortunately, there's a few people seem to think that they can drive into the North Sea for some reason, um, and they can't. Uh, so that's on the highest part of the bridge, and so it is a refuge hut, and there is a telephone in there and, and stuff. Or having said that these days with everyone with mobile phones, that's not so relevant. But people do go and wait there until the Coast Guard or the lifeboat come and get them off it again. Yes, While they look at their car, just rotting away in the sea. Yes, because in my country we cannot understand that you're doing it like this way because we would have barriers and traffic lights. Yeah, and yeah. We, 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 people ask us about that. Um, yeah. We don't want it and we don't think it would necessarily work. The weather can be quite severe there, so I'm sure it can with yourselves, but um, we think traffic lights wouldn't work for very long in those conditions. Ah. Um, and barriers, the trouble with barriers is the tide, it's not... It's how you control the barrier. 
if you work on just the tide times, you'd be closing the road off sometimes when it was open, because it does depend on the height of the tide and the weather. Um, and we don't think it's necessary for what is about one-tenth of one percent at most of all the cars that come here get stuck. It would just be a, a nuisance for us, to be honest. And how, how often happens? There have been time? 17, according to the Coast Guard here, there have been 17 rescues this year so far. Oh, 17? 17, yeah.